Last year, hackers discovered a way to use a cheap USB dongle designed to pick up European digital TV broadcasts for SDR. Hello, I'm Stephen Cass for IEEE Spectrum Hands-On, and this is a vital ingredient in a new low-cost software-defined radio, or SDR. Most radios today, whether in a cellular phone, a home stereo, or a Wi-Fi base station, use dedicated circuitry to receive and demodulate the particular set of signals they are designed for. For example, you can't use a typical cell phone to pick up a local FM station's over-the-air broadcasts. But with SDR, the demodulation side of the equation is left up to a computer. Now, typically the receivers for SDRs cost upwards of hundreds of dollars, but last year hackers discovered a way to use a cheap USB dongle designed to pick up European digital TV broadcasts for SDR. So I ordered one on Amazon direct from a Chinese supplier for $20. It came with a small antenna of its own which I replaced using a $10 TV antenna and a coaxial adapter for a couple of dollars more. Then I downloaded GQRX which combines software from the GNU Radio SDR project and a graphical user interface designed to work with my USB dongle. I plugged my dongle in and within a few seconds was listening to a range of transmissions from 50 MHz to about 2 GHz. Here I'm in the FM radio broadcast band, the analog stereo broadcast of the lobes in the middle of the signal. The square shapes to either side are digital HD radio transmissions. Clicking on a station lets me tune it in. At higher frequencies are things like the narrow band transmissions from local public agencies such as the police or transit authority. Because I can see so much of the spectrum at a time, about 2 MHz, I can monitor many channels for activity simultaneously. Another piece of software, COCO 1090, lets me decode digital packets from aircraft transponders, which gives me all sorts of information about the traffic flying overhead. As it's not always convenient to have the antenna and dongle plugged into my laptop, I ordered Raspberry Pi, a $35 Linux microcomputer that's got built-in Ethernet and USB connectivity. Downloading, compiling and installing the required support software was surprisingly quick and easy and turns the Raspberry and the dongle into an SDR server on my home network, allowing me to tune and control the system from a laptop as if the receiver was plugged in directly. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Stephen Cass.